My name is Nathanael Tadassa. At ESU, I, do, I work as a mentoring coordinator in the Multicultural Center. At Langston, I am uh, part of the Langston board. Uh, the board is called uh, LEAD, uh, Langston Educational Arts and Development Center. Uh, it's uh, organized as a nonprofit organization. Um, it uh, supervises some of the programs that goes on in the Langston Center. Uh, in collaboration with uh, uh, Park and Rex, the John City, uh, we work, uh, we supervise the center and what's going on in the center. Langston is a, a high school uh, primarily for black African American uh, uh, children and started uh, more than 100 years ago. It started actually in 1892. Uh, the paperwork started then, but the uh, school opened in 1893. Um, since then, it has been serving as a high school for the region. A lot of uh, elementary school, uh, black uh, schools, uh, would graduate uh, from middle school and elementary school and come to Langston uh, to finish their high school parts. So the Langston uh, High School uh, lasted until 1965 when desegregation uh, came to effect, um, it got closed and then the students were sent to uh, uh, go to Science Hill. Uh, some of them uh, went to, actually most of them went to Science Hill, some of them went to different uh, high schools, like university school here on campus, and some of them moved to uh, different places as well. Langston was the center where everybody meets uh, feel like they're at home, especially the, the teachers, they call them professors. Uh, most of them have a master's degree uh, teachers, uh, unlike the, uh, uh, the science field teachers. So all the kids were taken care of, educated as if they're taught by their own parents, by their own their family. They were even disciplined like they would be disciplined by their parents as well too. Um, so. Uh, from what I have been talking to with the alumni and the families, they felt like Langston was is, is their second home. Um, I think uh, a lot of people do understand the uh, segregation and its impact it had for a long time on this country as, as well as in, in the city, in this region. Um, so having that uh, black uh, school for a long time and then having some significance in the community for a long time uh, as part of the foundation of the city itself. Um, I think uh, other races also uh, can and will and are ap appreciating the history that Langston have, have had. Uh, and I just learned also recently that after Langston closed, there were some science field students who were sent to Langston to learn about vocational uh, education and I didn't know that uh, there were students being sent there these are not uh, black students these are uh, white Caucasian students being sent to Langston to learn about the vocation too so there is a huge connection to Langston in this region with people that you don't normally expect um, currently we have uh, objective to provide services to uh, uh, students from third grade all the way to eighth grade on STEM related areas um, the student they come after school to uh, uh, get acclimated into the sciences area, the arts, the mathematics, or uh, computer science, or engineering, things like that. Uh, we have people uh, coming uh, once or twice a week uh, to provide that service uh, for, for kids. In the future, I see a great potential for not only for the city but for the whole region uh, to want to tell about the, uh, the untold stories uh, that this region have, as well as to provide services to kids um, in the science area or like we have right now, and then also expand the program to uh, adults during the daytime uh, in different forms about health, about exercise, about crafts, about certain skills, uh, career development uh, uh, opportunities, those kind of education, uh, and collaborating with other uh, nonprofit organizations as well uh, to provide uh, those kind of services. Right now, um, we need uh, volunteers 
to uh, work with, especially with the kids. Uh, we have uh, uh, some kids, at least 30 kids or so, uh, coming every week uh, to uh, work with them on crafts, on science, on computers, things like that, even to t tutor them uh, on homeworks. Um, so if you are interested to, uh, to be involved right now, you have the chance as well.